Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, the Toy Car Collector. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have for you today, right now, this minute, a look at the Peeping Bomb, the Hot Wheels Peeping Bomb. One of the most popular Hot Wheels of all time is the Peeping Bomb. Why? Well, it is, not only is it a fantasy model that you would love to be able to ride in, but it's just so darn cool, and it has pipes on it. Oh, man, when we were kids, we loved anything with pipes on it and shiny chrome on the bottom and beautiful colors on top. And it has a feature. Look at that. It has silver headlights you could reveal. Now, there were a couple of colors that had orange headlights, but that is so rare. That's like a that's like a chase to find the one with the orange headlights. I'm not even sure uh, why that is a thing. You would have to consult. As a matter of fact, there is a website for you to consult if you're really interested in rarities of Hot Wheels, the old, old Hot Wheels from 68 and early 70s. You should take a look at hwprotos.com. That's hwprotos.com if you're really interested in checking out some information about rare Hot Wheels. I personally don't have any rare Hot Wheels. I just have pretty ones. And so I'm going to share that with you right now. Peeping, Peeping Bomb USA. Look at this. This is all the colors that the Peeping Bomb came in. 12 different colors for the U.S. version. 8 different colors for the Hong Kong version. The basic difference in the Hong Kong is you've got blue windows instead of clear windows. Other than that, I think it's pretty darn similar. Not a great deal of variation. I may have one Hong Kong around here somewhere. I will look for it. I didn't prepare for this. I just got excited and wanted to show them. So we have U.S. because that is what I collect. I collect U.S. peeping bombs. Now let's zoom in here. All right. So we can get a good look at our cars. This is the Aqua Peeping Bomb. Very nice, very nice. I haven't seen a lot of Aqua Peeping Bombs, but uh, I have this one, so I'm happy with that. Next color is blue. Oh my goodness, I love blue. Blue, 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 look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Blue, blue. Look at those beautiful wheels, chromey base. Oh my goodness, blue Peeping Bomb. That's fabulous, isn't it? And that is a nice color. That's actually pretty hard. Some of the colors, the Peeping Bomb, and I can't even really tell you, are super hard. I've always had trouble finding green. Green Peeping Bomb. And this one is super duper green. Super duper green. It's got one little weirdo. I guess that's just a bump in the metal down there or paint. And uh, it's pretty... This is a little foam piece that I use. The reason being is that if you've got a display case on your wall and there's a door nearby, every time you open and close the door, the cars will move around. But if you just stick some of this foam stuff on there, you're good to go. Good to go. It won't move around. See? Well, that moves around on there. Let's see. Yeah. you got to have two pieces usually to make that happen. Now, there are 12 colors, and I have all 12 colors, so I better get these close together so I can get them all on the rack here. Well, actually, maybe, you know what, I'll probably want to put two of them up on the master rack there for my favorite colors. The next one after green. Now, I like to do it this way. I like to go blue and then light blue and then green, but I did not put blue on there for crying out loud and that means wait a minute blues up there i did not resort these that's what happened never mind never mind light green light green whoa i love light green you know one of these days i'm going to put together some just some color cars that are all this all different cars same color and that looks really cool too depending on the cars that you put together but i like to put the green and the light green together that's why i don't put them in I, that's why I put them in uh, al alphabetical order so I'll just go green and then you know with the light after the comma and then green see but I didn't sort those mm. oh well hot pink oh my god hot pink are you kidding me oh my goodness I don't know how I got one this nice and hot pink because literally they don't exist they do not exist in fact most cars don't exist in the condition I have why is that you might ask well because I've been collecting in earnest since 1989, or perhaps a little bit after that. But I did start my catalog, my sales flyer, in 1991 July, the summer of, and I just never stopped. So, I'm crazy, absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Which, I'm going to put that up there because it's my favorite. My favorite color. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks so good, and I'm going to need room for five, so scooch over just a little bit here. 
And the next one after hot pink is da 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 da. Purple, purple. Wait a minute, lime yellow. You skipped right over it, you ding dong. Lime yellow, lime yellow. I like to just refer to it as bright lime. Lime yellow, bright lime. It looks like yellow, but it's not. Why? How can I prove that to you? Can I prove it to you? Because this is yellow. Can you see the difference? Look closely. Do you see the difference between lime yellow and yellow? Yes, you do. Of course you do. This is the yellow. Hmm, isn't that nice? Yellow is nice. I love yellow, especially when you see a bunch of yellow together. Bunch of yellow together, my favorite. You put about seven, no, well, not seven. You gotta have a round number. Six yellow cars together and display them, and you'll love it. That is the lime yellow. So we did the yellow, but what comes after? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Lime yellow, then magenta, magenta. Or Magneta, if you if you wish. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, you would have. Oh my gosh, you know, even if you found this car in a blister pack, you probably would not find it in this condition. Again, I started collecting these in the 90s. I probably, I'm sure, I had most, or if not all, of these by the year 2000. You know, I had to get everything before Y2K, right? In case the world came to an end. And then I just kept collecting, kept collecting, kept collecting, mostly buying and selling. Collect a few things here and there. Orange, orange. Is there orange headlights? No, silver headlights. Orange. Orange is near impossible. Mm hmm. Orange. Otherwise, I might have an even brighter one because this one does have some toning on it. Let's see. No, it doesn't. It has no toning on it. Take that back. The way you tell if a car has toning on it, you don't look at it under bright lights. You look at it under regular lights or perhaps over here by the garbage can or the floor. And you can see. Let me see. Do I see any toning? Oh, I see a spot. Okay, by my thumb there. Right in front of the driver's side. There's a little spot. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Hmm. Is that supposed to have red tail light? I don't think so. There's no tail lights on this thing. Beautiful. Can I find another spot? No? No, you can't. Back to the desk. Back. Settle down. Settle down. Peeping bomb. Peeping bomb. And the next one is purple. Do I have purple? Yes, I do. I do have purple. My purple one, unfortunately, has no wheels on it. Oh, my gosh. Maybe when I get done here, I'll go get some wheels to put on it. I will go and get some wheels. I have wheels. You know what? Let's just get the wheels now. All right, I got the wheels. You want to see something crazy? Check this out. Oh, my goodness. Holy smokes. Look at all these wheels. U.S. medium. Oh, these are the most valuable wheels of all time right here. Look how many I have. And they're not for sale. Don't ask me for wheels. I don't have any wheels for sale. Large hubs. Hmm. Actually, I need. I probably should sell some of my wheels because I have too many. But if, all I'd want to sell was the really bad ones, like these very worn wheels. Nobody wants very worn wheels. How about wheels with cracks? Have you ever looked at a Hot Wheels wheel and found cracks? It's the hub wheels. They crack. How about U.S. medium? No chrome. Oh my gosh, medium wheels with no chrome. That's crazy. How about these wheels? Painted. Somebody painted these wheels. Now, I'm not going to use painted wheels. I took them off. No painted wheels. These are my original surfboards. I have extras, but they're not for sale. Don't ask me for that. Heels. This is wheels with hubs. This means they got pulled off axles and the hubs are still in place. That's pretty cool. This is my U.S. box. Isn't that crazy? U.S. box of wheels. Holy smokes. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Uh, Hong Kong box of wheels. Holy smokes. Look at that. I should probably sell these wheels, the poor ones. Oh, my God. But who wants to buy poor ones? Oh, my goodness. Let's put that away. Oh, Hong Kong hubs medium. Hmm. Mint minus. I've got to work on my hub upgrading. Look at all that. And those cars over there. Wait a minute. You know, it just dawned on me. Wait. Wait. Oh. Information has washed over me. Those are all U.S. cars. But the wheels are Hong Kong. Wait a minute. Why have I never even thought about that? U.S. wheels don't come in caps. No, all U.S. wheels are hubs. 
Wait a minute, that's crazy. That's, you know, after 35 years of collecting Hot Wheels, my whole life, my goodness, more than that, I finally realized that Cap Wheels only come from Hong Kong. I probably knew that already. I just wasn't thinking about it, but I've got to put some wheels on there. So I'll pull those out, put this down. Oh my goodness, this is nuts. Now you might ask or be wondering, how do you take a wheel off a car? Well, you take an X-Acto blade, hold your finger on there, and you put down there in that little crack, that's where the tire joins with the hub. You put it in there and you pop it off. And then the reverse of that is to just put the wheel on here. And we'll get a couple of nice wheels. I don't have too many nice wheels. I better find some more right away. Oh my goodness, because this purple one deserves some really awesome wheels. I'm going to go ahead and look at these under the magnifying glass is what I do. Oh, these wheels are not, no, it's not too bad. Let me see. Hang on. Okay, I picked out some suitable wheels to snap on here. I have to be careful about using up my medium wheel, large wheels and my medium Hong Kongs because I need them for my old 442 upgrades. Hmm. But now I need I need my wheel tool. I really do. Where is the wheel tool? All right, I'm back with an original tune-up wrench. This one might possibly be a prototype. It looks different than the uh, production as I believe I got this from an employee collection and it's not been plated or polished and I don't even think you could polish this particular metal. What do you think? And it's got these dots on it, four dots. And another one I think over here is at the copyright. Anyway, it looks a little different than the uh, one that you might have that came with the service station and the tune-up tower. Put that back on the axle, okay. Try not to drop it. Put the wheel on, put this behind, grab the axle, push it on. All right, next one. Grab the axle, put it on right here. Snap it on. All right, come on, it's tight. A lot of times these uh, snap-on wheels do end up being a little bit loosey-goosey on the wheel, just a little bit. These fit real tight. All right, we're back in business. Purple's got his shoes back. Must have had bad wheels. Must have had some bad ones. So what else we got? Red, holy smokes. Red also has that little bump right there. Somebody else had a bump right there. Who was it? Was it you, Mr. Green? Oh, look at that. So that is most likely then a little thing in the metal because they both have bumps right there. Isn't that interesting? That is fascinating. I had no idea. I still have no idea. Wait a minute. Look at the orange one has it too. Oh man. Yeah, that's interesting. Not a flaw. No. Wait a minute. If they make the same mistake or flaw more a bunch of times, that, does that mean it's not a flaw anymore? Where'd the yellow go? The yellow's up there. Is there one more color? Yes, there is one more color. What is that color? Rose. Rose. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is rose. Wow. Jeez Louise. The peeping bomb. Did you even know the peeping bomb could be this beautiful? Did you? Did you? Well, it's hard to know that because all you ever see is junky ones. You know, if you go on eBay, you might see one or two nice ones. Maybe a blister pack, but even in the blister pack, there's no guarantee it's going to be perfect. Now, where did that Hong Kong one go? I think I have one Hong Kong magenta around here someplace. Let me just check. Hang on. I'll be right back. All right. Here it is. It's just as promised, the Hong Kong peeping bomb. Let's take a look for the differences. I'll pick up the magenta U.S., magenta Hong Kong. Of course, the color is going to be slightly different. Let's see. It says... Hong Kong there on the base. This one says USA. Mattel Inc. They kind of stamped out that section, added the Hong Kong. Rest of it looks very same, similar. What else do we got? All right, the front seems to be the same. The back, double rails. Similar size. Hmm. 
it appears that only the pipes are the same, only the colors being a little more drab on the Hong Kong, and uh, all the U.S. ones are fairly bright if you can get it without a bunch of toning. Magenta U.S., Magenta Hong Kong. I only have one. I don't think I've ever had. Let me look at this. Any of the other colors in Hong Kong. I've never looked for them, but uh, I wonder if they're out there. I'm going to go on eBay right now and see if anybody's selling any. Okay, I checked out eBay and I could not find any Hong Kong peeping bombs there. Here are three pictures from my website, redlinecollector.com. And that's all I have for you today for this beautiful car, the Hotwheels Peeping Bomb 1970. Oh my goodness, what a beauty. So hard to find the really pretty ones, but here was a good look at some. And thanks for watching and check out my other videos over about 700, 800, 900. I don't know how many videos, so many. Check it out. Thanks so much.